Hey YouTube, here I just want to do a quick video on how to repair a Game Boy Color cartridge, uh, possibly other Game Boy types of cartridges that after the Game Boy slash Nintendo screen, it either just goes to a white screen with no sound and no video, or does um, gives garbage graphics or just doesn't boot in general. Uh, what you're going to need is uh, the game bit to open up the back screw of the cartridge. You're going to need uh, a white eraser or um, pencil eraser, I use the white ones for pens, to uh, clean the contacts, uh, your Game Boy to test, and a soldering iron. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and open the game up. So once you got the uh, screw there out of the back, the front cover just slides off. First thing you want to check is for just dirty contacts. Um, it's the easiest thing to to, to spot and uh, repair. Uh, this case I've already cleaned them but what you need to do is take an eraser or a alcohol swab on a q-tip. I find the eraser works the best and just go back and forth on all the contacts and once they look pretty clean there just wipe it off with a cloth, a dry cloth like a fiber cloth. Try it out and if that doesn't fix it then uh, uh, move on to the next step. So what you want to do is the pins on this upper left chip and the pins on this right memory chip. Um, we need to reflow the pins. So all that means is if you have your soldering iron you need to just, once it's hot, put it on the pin wait for the solder to flow It'll, you'll see it, uh, you'll feel it underneath melt and then uh, go to the next pin, push down, go to the next pin, don't spend too long on each uh, pin there, you don't want to cause any damage to the chip or drag the solder around so I did it first on this smaller chip here and uh, that dim didn't remedy the problem you can try it yourself, do one chip at a time, it's the easier of the two if that doesn't work then you move to the larger chip and just go up and down each side probably took about five minutes but uh, afterward the game booted the first try and so what you can do here is you don't have to put the cover back on the test and it boots right away fairly simple fix um, but uh, just uh, do it at your own risk uh, if you don't know what you're doing I don't recommend doing it but it's a great way to get uh, your cartridge fixed up rather than throwing it out take care guys